All right, welcome to this meeting of the Deerfield Conservation Commission. It's August 15th, 2017. Members present. Matt Ainsworth. Steve Barrett. Louis Mission. All right, we have a very limited agenda this evening. Um, we are just waiting right now on Sarah Campbell to arrive. She's not here yet, but I do have a note that she sent me today, and we'll um, So basically, it says, it looks like Saruta has responded to all the comments. I feel it is a fairly conservative and expensive plan. Sorry about that, but I recommend making it clear that any changes will have to go through the CONCOM and a certificate of compliance will be required. And she will see us at seven. Everything up until that part looked pretty good. So, John, if you'd like to come on up and we can. So, I apologize for coming in. What did you? I, uh... Our engineer is not here yet, so don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> well, um, you know, Patricia's not going to make it tonight, right? Pat Smith she, yes. from the COG? Yes. That's okay. She, uh, she gave me everything that. She commented on Well, that she'd be more with the planning board rather than us. Oh, okay. Right. Just, we're, going, we're just going to handle the peer review that, as Sarah had said in her email to me today, that you've addressed all of the concerns that she had, she had raised in her peer review. I'll take that nod as a yes. <laughs> yes, sir. So. I uh, don't have it in front of me, but... Some of the major, so I'll look at the original memo that she sent out. Can you guys, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. That's really for the TV, that's not for. Okay. Um, so you guys are going over the memo that Sarah Campbell sent out, correct? Yep. So I think uh, some of the major concerns that she had, are we going through, do you, would you like to go through the entire comment list? Um, um, I know one of the major concerns that she had was going over the detail, the uh, porous paper detail. So she yes. wanted something that reflected a more porous option. I think in the original comment, it said that, um, there was stone dust that was used between. Mm -hmm. So I specified, I think it's a number, it's a, I think a P stone between. Okay. The, uh, page. So. What, what, what uh, page is that be? Uh, DT 1.4. So the permeable paver detail, number nine, um, we use a number nine uh, quarter inch aggregate in the openings. And the uh, bedding course, that was changed as well. So that shows a more porous option okay. for that. And these would be the final plans? These would be. So this, um, so this revision, this is revision four. Uh, there's actually, so <laughs> unfortunately there was an issue with printing. Um, I tried to get all of Sarah's uh, memo that she sent out to me uh, later today. I was printing that out and we have a revision five, which is the only difference with revision five is there's additional notes. My father's bringing that in. He's getting that from the print shop. He's going to be here in a few minutes. Okay. Um, but that will be the definitive plan that will yes. be revision five. All these have the changes that reflect Sarah's uh, changes that she yep. requested. Um, today, Patricia had a couple changes that she requested. There was something with um, the, um, it was the water service connection and electrical service connection. Again, that probably isn't going to impact us. Exactly. So. Um, but these are more or less the good plans. So. And that'll be I dated start. today too? Yes. 8.15? Yep. 8.15. But there's going to be number five. Yep. 
Okay. Welcome, sir. Uh, John, we're just going over the final revisions on revision number five. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, I assume that you're comfortable that all of your concerns, which I should never assume, I suppose, but there I am, that you should, you're comfortable with the changes that have been made per your suggestions. Yeah, I think um, all the, uh, the list of issues have been uh, revised onto the plans. Okay. I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay. Yeah, I, I received your email today. Thank you very much and read that into the record as far as the um, certificate of compliance, any changes that they make further on will have to come back to, to us. Okay. So um, I know that uh, we have some people in the audience who have some questions or comments. If you'd like to, you said you wanted to have some. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging up here. Sure, you can come up or you can just ask. Yeah, why don't you come up so we can at least get, make sure we can hear you on the TV. If you could just identify yourself for yeah, the record. Gary Kolokoski. So the only question I have tonight is, if this thing's approved, is the board or the DEP, after it's done, going to inspect it so that it is built to the plan with everything <coughs> that's on there done correctly? and sign off on this project as it's built right so we don't have any other issues, future yep. issues down the road. One of Sarah's, um, on her email to me today, was they'll have to supply for a certificate of compliance when the project is finished. Right, before they take occupancy before somebody. We, then we, have it, we would sign off on it. We'd go up go, to a site visit. Look, you'd look at the yep. plan. Take a look at the plans. I mean, we're not engineers, right? But you get a pretty good feel after well, X you number can tell of years. Where there's a retention area here, there, you can you yeah, can, you can see that that they're that they're there. Yep, where they're supposed to be. And the other thing, so yeah, we will definitely the do drainage that. Drainage and all that. Yep, is done to uh, as planned. Yep, absolutely. The other information that I did want to make sure that uh, <clears throat> that I did bring up and is that there is an appeal process through DEP if anybody feels, and I wish I'd brought my glasses, but I didn't. Get an extra appeal, Lou? Get an extra pair of reading glasses? See if these help. <laughs> ah, yep, look at that, letters. Um, the applicant, the owner, any person agreed by this order, any owner of land abutting this land subject to this order, or any 10 residents of the city or town in which such land is located are notified of their right to request the appropriate Mass DEP regional office to, to issue a superseding order of conditions. So if you've got, an, if you're in a butter or you've got nine other people who don't like any decision we make, you do have a built-in appeal that you can make. Plus, is it, you need to file any appeal. It would have to be done within 10 business days from the date that we sign. So there, there is there's a mechanism out there to make sure that, and it doesn't happen often, but it has happened, that there's a check and a balance there. So you do have that, that would, the clock would start ticking tomorrow when I give this to uh, Priscilla. Uh -huh. So definitely we will issue, a, we'll have to have a certificate of compliance issued and it entails an inspection. We normally get a letter from the engineers saying that it has been built and I don't know an engineer out there who's going to put a stamp on a, on a letter and jeopardize their career and their, their livelihood for one project, to be honest with you. We have, we've never run into it in the 25 odd years I've been doing this. So. I hope that helps. Well, we question. had a situ situation a few years ago that I, I'm not going to say no more. We won't go it was, <laughs> it was not really done to plan, and that was that. Was that so. so? So that's where we are. So, um, your dad bringing the plan in? He's bringing the revision five in. I mean, this is practically the same plan, it's just those additional notes. I uh, talked to um, Patricia this afternoon and she just wanted a clear note saying there was a water service connection um, in the street 
in Route 5 and 10, and also the electrical service connection, which would be to the utility pole that's across the street. Um, so in... What plan would that be on? So the water service connection, it's shown... There's a note on the drainage plan, which is D1.0, but it's also shown on the utility plan. So the utility plan is getting a little uh, convoluted, and it's it has as much stuff as we could fit on there. So I put it on the drainage plan as well because there's more room on that plan. But on the utility plan, it shows the connection. Um, so if you look. So this is D1, right? Yeah, so that would be D1. So if you look, you can see this water service connection here. Um, this is the water service. There's, this was actually a goof on my part with this this particular plan. So on revision five, it shows it. But you see a call out to an electrical service. This layer was turned off in AutoCAD, so it's not showing up. It is in the plan. But I highlighted these two. It's the water service and the electrical service. The electrical service connects to this utility pole. The water service connects to the uh, water main that's in the street. Um, that would be something that you'd have to verify in the field because it's not shown on the survey, but she said that that was adequate. It's just the, I didn't want to add an exact location just in case if, you know, the contractor was doing some sort of material call out. So it would be verified in the field, um, but yeah, we'd have just a typical water service connection. So that's the only difference between... That's the only revision? That's the only revision for revision five. So it yeah. was dated for today. I was just going to throw it on this plan, but she said since I submitted revision four, I should submit, you know, call it revision five, reprint it out, and resubmit it to you guys. So you guys will receive the latest revision. All the other changes, all of Sarah's comments, everything are shown on this plan, revision four, which was the original plan that we were gonna bring. So is he just bringing sheet D1, is that it? Um, so he has... Or, and the cover or the whole... Yeah, plan? those pages are gonna be sw uh, swapped out of this oh, plan. okay. So they will with this one So too. he's just bringing every... So he's so revision two five. Full sets. Complete the sets or? He's bringing two full sets of revision five oh, okay. and the, the sheets that would be switched out of yeah. these two. Okay. So. Again, it was kind of a last minute thing. I didn't get Sarah's comments until it was like, you know, 5.30. <laughs> so. All right, well. I mean, not Sarah, sorry, not Sarah's past comments. Yeah, I was gonna caution you about submitting plans with today's date when today hadn't happened yet. And I guess you got stuck in that date oh, loop there. Yeah, should I have? Four said the 15th, didn't it? What's that? Your last revision was dated the 15th. Um, so. This revision, yeah, revision four was dated for the 15th. That's when I was going to submit it was today. So. so five is also going to say the 15th? It's also going to say the same day. So. I think one of the other things, I'm not too sure if you guys would be concerned with this, but it was the... Um, the not layout plan, but the... Uh, list of allowed plantings that they requested. So that is a sheet that was added to this as well. Um, it'd be DT 1.7, and that just shows the allowed plantings that would be on site. So that was another comment that we went over. And I don't think you're very concerned with the stormwater permit application, but that's been filed for the town. Okay. So Sarah, you're com comfortable with? Yeah, I think the questions that I put in writing last time have all yep. been answered. Okay. All right. I, are we comfortable signing off before Bill gets here with the plans? As long as the minute. He should be here at any minute. Again, it was kind Famous of a last, last minute words. push to get everything. So I. Yeah, I mean, it's it's minor. Basically, it looks like you're just showing yep. electrical line. Yep. What are you doing with the service? What did you it, change? It, like, it's there, but. It, so on this set of plans, it was just the electrical service is turned off, so that line is highlighted and has a call out for it. And there's a note that says uh, connect to existing utility pole, pole across the street for the electrical service. And the water service line, which is 
uh, shown on that plan, um, it just says verify and field yeah. for the location okay. of the existing water main. So it's a yep. clarification, but nothing changed. But it's not going right. to be a change per yeah. se. Okay. Well, if you're comfortable with it, and you're comfortable with it, yeah, I would I make am. a motion that we accept revision five, dated eight fifteen seventeen, to be de delivered by Bill Saruta. I'll second it. We get that into the minutes. And Aye. Aye. Hi. <laughs> All right, so we're good. Thank so you. we'll sign off on this. And I'd like to thank everybody. It's been a long time. It's been a lot of work. We appreciate the patience that you've all shown. We appreciate your help, Sarah. It's been good working with you again. John, it's been good working with you. We appreciate thank you. it. Thank you as well. So with that being said, we shall sign the paperwork. That's good, then you nobody can tell it's your actual signature. <laughs> Here you go, Lou. With that being said, we are done with this part of the meeting. We now move on to doing our review our minutes from our last meeting. Take a look at the mail, set our ne the next meeting date. Good. Make a motion to accept them as they were presented. Second. Aye. 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 Okay. We're going to keep, keep what you want. All right. And then the mail. Matt's done no with that. Or? What's that? Oh, just a couple of them. This is a 
new town policy apparently for our review. Oh, yeah, I guess so. has little to do with us. Yeah. Steve, did you clarify with the applicant that the original order conditions goes to their address, the engineer's address, somebody takes it to the registry of deeds? They, I'm assuming that Bill and John are aware of that. If we still have to, I've got a little bit of paperwork still needs to be done on this with the uh, being filled out with the DEP sure. file numbers, et cetera, that Priscilla will have to do tomorrow morning. Sometimes if it goes to an address that isn't familiar with it, it doesn't ever get to the registry of deeds, that's all I'm saying. Well, I'm assuming that Mr. Saruda, hey, Bill, you are aware that this needs to go to the registry of deeds, et cetera? Bill? Me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you want to see those packs? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that you are aware that this will have to go to the registry of deeds to be recorded. The, oh, the order yeah. of conditions. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. Well, Sarah just brought the point up, so. Makes I just got here. I didn't even know what the committee was talking about. This is coming. So that being said, if we've gone through the mail. That's for, for the board of selectmen. Yeah. Where's the one? Excuse me, Sugarloaf Street, land located behind 67, 69, and 73. Oh, oh. That's part of what oh. this whole project is. Yeah. So the mail. So with that, we need to set a um, date for our next meeting. I will not be here. So you're in charge, Luke. I don't know. I haven't heard anything from. Uh, we have a notice of the. We do have an NOI submitted for 253 Greenfield Road, the Saab dealership, Volvo Saab, um, for I believe it's the replacement of a uh, uh, septic system. So we have. Ward Smith has done the engineering work, it looks like. to DEP then? Or? Yeah, we have a file oh, so number. everything is yeah. pretty much. We have file number issued 142-0211. Uh, no comments whatsoever by DEP. Yeah. I mean, replacement of a um, septic has usually been fairly much, pretty much this is what it is type of thing. Okay, that's all it is. Was there anything about the parking pavement or something? It's a buffer zone only. No natural, natural heritage endangered species activity. No, it's pretty much they got a place in right in the same spot, you know. I'll just have to look that up and he, he didn't have any comments. There no comments whatsoever. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Just go for that. Yeah.
and here's the actual oh, plan for a second. Okay. Yeah, I've actually checked my email. I haven't seen anything, any response. But for August 24th. How about Matt? I think you can. August 24th. Yes, sir. I believe I leave the 25th. Yeah, I'll be here. Okay. Well, there's two of us, probably. Well, you got you're, you're two thirds of the way there. Yeah, so there make a motion that at uh, 7:26 to adjourn this meeting. Second. Aye. Aye.